is Robin, and today I am going to show you something from from my kitchen. And this cartridge was given to me by Custom Crops, and I want to thank Kelly over there at Custom Crops. Thank you, Kelly. I love it. So I am going to show you. We're going to make a scrapbook page using this cartridge. And for the bonus, okay, so Provocraft has given me a cartridge to give away, and I'm going to give away a from my kitchen cartridge. All you have to do is go to mypinkstamper.com and leave me a message. So please, if you're on YouTube, don't leave a comment. You can leave me comments. I love comments. I love positive comments. I love good comments, not weird psycho comments. Okay, so leave me a comment, and then go over to mypinkstamper.com and... Just leave me a comment over there with a way to get a hold of you. And I will be closing this Wednesday, September 10th. I will close out this cartridge giveaway from my kitchen. So, for the first part of this video, I am going to bake something. So, come on, follow me to my kitchen. From this cartridge, you can make recipe cards, scrapbook pages, which I was going to do, but I changed my mind. Uh, scrapbook pages with different, um, if you're making cookies with your kids, you can do a, there's just about everything kitchen related on this. I think there is everything kitchen related on this cartridge. I've decided to make a sheep card because I like animals. So this cartridge is also great for on the farm page or if you're going to a petting zoo or a, any kind of farm or anything like that. I'm going to use this sheep here and I'm going to bling up the sheep. So how do you bling up a sheep? I'm using this glitter paper from Die Cuts with a View. First thing you're going to want to do is load your paper. Now what I'm going to start with first is my... Let me fix this here. I want my sheep to be about the size of this black piece of cardstock from my scraps. So what I've done is put my paper on my bottom left corner and now I can hit my paper size that I have my now that I have my blade at the top right corner. So I'm going to press my sheep 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 where are you? My sheep button and fit to page. Make sure my fit to page button goes on. Okay, and it's going to make it three inches. So that's the size that I want to remember when I'm doing my layer on the top. I want to do three inches for this. And what's great about this is there's all sorts of different shapes and you can use this circle. This is just a scallop oval, not a circle, but you can just do many things with this cartridges. What I love about the newer cartridges that, cartridges that are coming out um, from Provo Craft is that they're not just one Every button is not just one image. You can do multiple things with them. They're just a lot more versatile than they have been in the past that I'm finding out. Okay, make sure your paper saver button is on. Take off your fit to page. Set it to three inches. Remember that's what it said was three inches. Three inches. Okay. And now I'm going to hit shift and my sheep. And because I'm using the thicker die cuts with a view paper, I want to do multi-cut and make sure my multi-cut is set um, I just want it to be on three so let me set look check at my settings check my settings it's on two so we're good here we go it's going to cut it out two times my blade depth is six speed five pressure five and there it goes and goes and goes okay I'm gonna make a really quick card with it okay really quickly quickly I want to show you I'm going to make some grass for my card 
and I'm using the Zubaloo cartridge and I want the grass right here. There's different options. I want it. It's on the lower layer button. So I'm going to press my, take off my multi-cut, press my lower level, I'm sorry, lower layer, I can't speak today, lower layer and I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to do the one with the trees and my grass. So now I want to also have it fit on my card. So this is where you hit your fit to length button and I want it to be five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. Now I'm pressing cut. And let's see here. It's going to make it exactly the size that I need and this is just going to be the cutest card ever. It really is. I'm so excited. I love this cartridge. I do, I do, I do. I love every cartridge. I say that every time, but I really do. I really enjoy this cricket. I really, really, really. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet now. All right, and so look. It made it the exact size that I wanted it. I'm gonna stop talking like a valor girl now, I promise. Okay, so let's finish the card. Okay, so let's quickly put this cute card together. I'm folding my five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock in half. And I'm not adding any bling or ribbons or cuddle bug or anything. It's just going to be a really simple, quick card. This is my ATG gun. You can use any adhesive that will work. I've got tons of different kinds of adhesives. I'm putting that on there. Now I'm taking the grass that I cut. See, it's going to fit perfectly at the bottom there. And I'm just going to do a strip. Whoops, can't see very well. Actually, you know what? Da, 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 da. I'm using my zip dry for this one. It's kind of a smaller spot there. Just going to squeeze this through here, really. Make just a really thin line. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about getting my adhesive too thick. So here we go. Here's the zip dry on there. It's fabulous. And my grass is a little bit long, so I can just go over that with an exacto knife or just leave it or snip it or whatever. This is the zip dry. I've used it in a couple other videos. I really love it. And remember, it smells pretty too. Okay, this is my sheep. My sheep, I'm just going to add them on. This is just regular white cardstock, and I'll show you why I did that in a second. I did some things off camera. I always do things off camera. Put my little sheep on here, sheep guy or girl, whichever you prefer. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I want to, I'm taking this white Elmer's painter, and I'm going to give him an eye so we can see it. There's my little sheepy's eye. And I'm using, this is the bling that I did. And I want it to pop up, but I didn't want the black to be underneath it. So that is why I did what I did. Okay, I'm almost done here. I'm trying to do this in record time here. This is going to be a long video. Okay, ugh, pop this on here, this cute little baby. And remember, I made this from from my kitchen cartridge, which you would think... You'd only be making things for your kitchen. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do that. You can use just about anything from any cartridge to do lots of things. This says, hey there. It's from the really a really retro stamp set from Stampin' Up. And it's going to be right here. It's going to say, my sheep saying, hey there. Ta-da. Have a great day. Robin. Uh, so I've got such a headache. September two, three. Should I pull off my shoes to count my toes? Uh, today is September one, two, three. Today is September third.